Hey. 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 How y'all feeling, man? How y'all feeling? What's up, Clemson Tiger fans? What's up, college football fans, man? Oh, man. <laughs> Brandon Streeter officially fired. That's right, fired. You're fired. <laughs> As the offensive coordinator for the Clemson Tigers, man. I can't even believe this is happening, man. I really can't believe it. I really can't believe it, man. It's like... I've been saying this for... Well, ever since Brandon Streeter was hired, right? And, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of, of, of different uh, people, including myself, who have been... Uh, well disappointed right that's that's probably the best adjective to uh, to use uh, is disappointed i'm you know i'm not mad i'm just disappointed with you that's even worse than being mad you guys know that but this offense under clemson over the past two seasons has been abysmal it's been an embarrassment. And I've been called all kinds of things, you know. Uh, you're not a real fan. Uh, Pete, stop hating on Brandon Streeter. You're not a real fan. Warning. Fan police en route. Brandon Streeter officially fired. You're fired. For taking one of the most talented teams offensively in the entire country and turning them into uh, to a, a, an absolute and complete shit show. And here's what I, here's the only, uh, uh, b b before we talk about the new hire, which I'm extremely excited about, by the way, th and this almost doesn't even seem real to me. The new hire. Because it was a pipe dream. Everyone was saying it's a pipe dream. Nah, there ain't no pipe dreams in Clemson, South Carolina. But before we get into the new hire, I just want to go ahead and acknowledge how right I was about Streeter. And also how right I was and how right I have been and the rest of the Clemson fans out there about Dabo Sweeney. Dabo Sweeney will never uh, conform. Uh, Dabo Sweeney will never adapt. Uh, Dabo Sweeney will never relate to what's going on in the, in the current world of, uh, of college football. And I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and admit, uh, for 100% certainty, that I was one of those people. I started to, 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 uh, to doubt Dabo. I did. And I was wrong. I never thought in a million years, not a million years, that Dabo Sweeney would fire Brandon Streeter as offensive coordinator. I didn't think it. I mean, if you've been watching me, you would know this. I never thought it. I thought there was less than a 0% chance, less, not even zero, less than 0% chance that Dabo Sweeney would fire Brandon Streeter. I thought there was way more likely of a chance that he would uh, bring somebody else in um, as a co-coordinator. And so this to me here, Firing him. We're talking about a Clemson man. This ain't no jabroni off the street. This ain't I mean, this ain't Brent Venables. This man played for Clemson. This man coached for Clemson. 
to get fired. To get fired. How bad do you have to actually be to get fired by Dabo Sweeney? How many people have been uh, fired by Dabo Sweeney? How many? One, two, three, four. Four people. Four people have been fired by Dabo Sweeney over the course of, uh, of, uh, of 15 years as head coach. Four. Four. So who did Clemson hire? Garrett Riley. A pipe dream. I mean, when when people started talking about Clemson needs to fire their offensive coordinator and go after a coordinator like what they have at TCU. People like me were sitting around going, yeah, well, ha, 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 ha. That's a great story. That sounds fun and all. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. No way that I ever think that that, 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 that that would ever come to fruition. Not in a million years. Wow. Wow. So I don't even know what else to say other than... Uh, I mean, I'm happy. I, I mean, I, I'm I'm ecstatic. As, as, as a tater man, I am absolutely ecstatic about this. Ecstatic. I can't imagine a, a, a better Christmas present, a, 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 a better New Year's present than this. This tells me, and, and this tells all of you too, and that's what this is all about. It's not about me. It's about you. It's all about you. This tells me. Dabo Sweeney's not fucking around. He saw what happened. He saw what happened with Georgia. He sees what's happened with Alabama. He sees what happened with Ohio State. He sees what happened with all of you other people out there that are saying that he's being left behind in this thing. And that he's not up to speed. And that he's, a, you know, uh, Dabo Sweeney, he's the dinosaur of, uh, of college football. He's going to get left behind. No, no. We stand and we say, uh, as Clemson Tater Mans, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not do that. And Dabo just single-handedly in one night restored my faith in him. Go Tigers.